Hi everybody. Well, I wanted to make a video today about a vacuum pump and how you can go and test it to see how well it's working. So what I have here is a CPS ProSet vacuum pump. Uh, it's a couple years old, but it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, you can see there it's a 1.9 CFM vacuum pump. It's a dual stage pump. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and hooked up a CPS vacrometer, otherwise known as a micron gauge. And what I'm going to do is turn it on here and then we're going to run the pump. Now we've all hooked up low side gauges to vacuum pumps before and ran them. And it's not uncommon to see the low side gauge drop down pretty close to 30 inches uh, relatively quick. But I've done that here with this and I've compared it to the readings I get with just the micron gauge by itself. So that's why I wanted to run this test first just with the micron gauge directly connected to the vacuum pump by itself. And now what I'm expecting to see is that this is going to get down pretty low uh, because it's just a vacuometer connected directly to um, a vacuum pump that can suck down pretty far and that's in pretty good shape. So we should see pretty quick results and we should also see pretty good results. So we'll time it with the clock and see how long it takes and run the pump and see what we can find. So here goes. Now you can see the vacuometer starts out not showing anything. Now the lines move to the bottom and now it'll start reading. And the reason for that is because the vacuometer doesn't work until the vacuum reading gets down to right around 29 inches of vacuum because that's really all that this gauge reads is that last inch. A regular set of manifold gauges like your low side gauge that has a vacuum scale can read between zero and about 28 inches of vacuum. But below that, when you get down to that very last inch from 29 down to 29.9, mechanical gauges are just not accurate. So if you want to read those small, small numbers, you have to use a vacrometer to have accurate results. And this actually went lower than I thought. I was expecting it to get down around you know, in the 40s somewhere, and it's got down to 37 or 36. And then this has different units. It reads microns, regular old inches of mercury. So being that our location here outside of Philadelphia is probably around the two to 300 feet above sea level range, somewhere around there, maybe 400 feet. Uh, we're able to get down to a pretty pretty low vacuum, 29.9, where we are here. That's the reading in millibars. And that's in the tour scale. And then back to microns. So, pretty cool.